Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Connor Terrio. I'm a BIM technical consultant here at Gray Tech. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be going over one of the many ways um, to improve your MEP workflows. Today, we're going to be highlighting the Connect Into tool. The way the Connect Into tool works is once you select um, the fixture you would like to connect into, it's then going to ask you, Revit is then going to ask you to connect um, the or select the system that you have modeled, whether that's cold water, hot water, sanitary, um, and then Revit will automatically place uh, the pipes um, and then therefore connect into that fixture. So today I'll just be going over some tips and tricks on how to improve that workflow uh, and get you more comfortable with using the Connect Into tool uh, to save you some time. Okay, so let's jump into Revit here. I've just got a little demo file open. Um, I've modeled in some cold water piping, some sanitary piping, and we've got a tankless water heater here. So what we're going to do is next is we're going to run our uh, connect into tool here um, with these cold water lines. Uh, and then I'll show you how to use the connect into tool here with the sanitary lines. So the first step is to open up our floor plan. So let's take a look at our floor plan here. We're going to want to align our section into place, but before we do that, we're going to go under visibility and graphics here, and we're going to uncheck this filter, this sanitary filter here, um, and clean up our space a little bit. So we're only looking at the cold water lines for right now. Step one, we're going to bring this section across. We're going to flip it. What we want is the section facing the back of these sinks. And reason being is that's where these connectors are located our cold water connector is located at the back of the sink. So if we were to have our section um, facing the front of the sink, we would not be able to see which connector is hot and cold. So what I mean by that is uh, when we open up this section, if I select on this sink, I can see that this connector on the right hand side here is the cold water connector, sanitary in the middle, and then hot water on the left. So. First thing we want to do is we're going to connect in this first sink here. So we actually want to just draw a pipe down and just kind of lead the way here. Um, down towards the sink, we're not, actually, we're not going to model it all the way down and model in the piping. That's where the connect into tool comes into play. So we're going to come up here into modify for step two, modify and select our align tool. And we want to make sure that the pipe that we just modeled down is aligned to the cold water connector on the sink. Okay, so once these two are aligned, then we can come in, select our fixture, come up to the ribbon. You should see that connect into tool. Okay, next menu here is just going to ask us what connector do we want to uh, connect into. There's obviously three with this sink, so we're going to connect into the cold water line. Press OK, and then select on that pipe. And you can see as soon as we do that, it turns that sink uh, blue. Okay, so now it is now connected into this system. Again, anytime you do something, always check it out in 3D. Um, and you can see here what it did. It added in this pipe, it added in this elbow, and then it extended that vertical down. So if we change this detail level here, uh, we should see a little bit more detail here. And also gave us a different fitting because this was a uh, connector size was a little bit bigger than the pipe that we had modeled. So you could repeat this uh, same process here for the remaining sinks. We open up that section one more time. Again, we need the we need to kind of lead it down. Just lead it down a little bit. If you just select the sink here and go connect into, uh, select the cold water. Um, this one this one worked out. Okay, so we'll put in a T. Um, and it gave you the right size pipe going all the way up to the T. So sometimes you might have some inconsistencies with that where it doesn't put in or you might get a funky layout. Um, so I always like to just grab my pipe, select it, go create similar, and just lead it down. Uh, and then use your connect into tool from that point forward. Uh, again, it'll be kind of trial and error here as you guys get experience, uh, get more experience with the workflow. Uh, so that is our uh, cold water lines. Uh, let's switch back to the floor plan. Let's turn on our sanitary lines here. 
Turn off the domestic cold water. Perfect. And let's get our section in line. And I'll quickly show you the same process here for our sanitary lines and our toilets. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna select the existing pipe that we have modeled in there. We're gonna go up, create similar, and we're just gonna lead, lead it just a little bit, selecting our fixture first. As soon as we select our fixture, then we can see that connecting to tool top in the ribbon. Um, and then we're gonna select sanitary. Boom, nice and easy. Uh, so this saves you from having to put in all of those fittings saves you from having to go through the exact same process here. Um, over time, you know, depending on how many bathrooms you have to lay out, you know, you're going to save quite a bit of time using this connect into tool. Uh, so hopefully this will help you um, refine and improve your MVP workflows if you're not using this feature already. Um, don't hesitate to give me a shout on LinkedIn. You can see it there um, at the beginning of this little video. Um, Take care and good luck. Thanks for tuning in.